So early on, I wanted to explore that idea of how can we create meaningful solutions and pleasing design and spaces and so forth without it being about excess and quantity. And it's really stayed with us from the beginning. Efficiency over excess. It's a nice way to sum up what drives us here at Studio Upwall and how we approach really every design. Between the San Francisco Bay Area and Washington, D.C., the vast majority of all of our projects have been urban, small, infill projects. Whether it's a renovation project or a new building within that space, that idea of efficiency over excess is the right approach anyway. You're forced to be thinking about how can I organize and create interesting spaces and solutions within a very small space. A lot of our designs are modern, sleek, clean lines, neutral colors, neutral materials. A lot of people nowadays are attracted to, they like looking at it, but then functionality accessibility is a very important part on how I do my work. Yes, I tend to try to be creative, but I do give functionality priority most of the time. Especially on residential, is something that you use every day, something that you interact with, you need to be comfortable, you need to be functional. The design philosophy fits well with our concerns and our regard for sustainability and the importance of sustainability. One of the things about urban small spaces often is that the interiors are quite dark. And while there are many very interesting sustainable design and energy efficiency type measures you can take as an architect, some of the low hanging fruit, in my opinion, is passive design. In other words, just structuring and orienting the building in a way that natural light and eliminating unnecessary solar gain, let's say, into buildings becomes very important. Some firms talk about, you know, solar, passive design and so forth as a thing that they could consider. I've long thought that it's not a could, it's every project. And it really starts with a BIM process. And we found that it becomes invaluable really to be able to model a building in three dimensions, look at it from various angles, and then the vector works heliodon object, of course, be able to place the sun into the model and allow us to study solar angles, shading created by the placement of a window. We can move the window around in the model, change its sizing, extend overhangs at certain places and get very clear understanding of what that shading and sun pattern is going to be like so that we can have confidence that we're not gonna show up on a job site after it's built and say, oh no, we made a mistake. Since I joined this firm, we usually work on small scale projects like residential. We try to talk to the client and really go like step by step with them on what they actually wanna achieve with the project. And instead of trying to work as fast as we can to do as many projects as we can, it's more about actually bringing that quality into one project and really designing it to achieve the client's purposes. With the software, I mean, it's nice that we can like show them, develop the project with them from the schematic design base all the way to the permit drawings. It's a wonderful tool for being able to study different design iterations for our clients. We are able to, through the layers and classes, really easily model and create multiple options or variations on a design and share them with clients uh, all out of one Vectorworks file. And the one thing I always tell my clients is while at any point in the design, even early on, everything we're showing you is very accurate because it's all coming from, you know, the, the same program and, and file that will eventually become the construction documents. It allows us to be both creative and accurate, and I think that's a wonderful feature.